Welcome back everyone for my session 11 uh, video and my assignments video. I apologize, I've, I'm having, I've had a, a cold. Um, I'm just getting over a cold. It, uh, had, it came to a head about uh, Friday after Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm still a little stuffy and I'm still coughing. So um, I'm going to go back and try to edit out all my coughs. <laughs> so, but if I don't catch one, please excuse me for that. Um, this session will continue our explanation of our exploration of assessment for learning. Almost all of you had or will have a strong reaction to the term paper assignment where Marissa uh, is, is struggling with writing this paper, is not giving any feedback, not giving any exemplars, rubrics, etc., etc., and in the end gets no feedback. Um, many of you have had similar experiences. Grades should not be a surprise. Uh, which is why I like to post a running average uh, right next to your name in my gradebook, and you can see it. Um, and, and one of the things that may be a little deceiving is that the, the, later, gra the later assignments, like the la last discussion board, the last double entry journal, are weighted more uh, than, than the ones before. So if you bomb your last discussion board, uh, it's going to affect your grade much more than the ones you did earlier. So that, because now you should know how to do it, you, um, because you've had a lot of feedback on, on doing that. Um, um, I once had a, a, a student referred to the writing center and said they handed in the writing and they never received any feedback. You know, I, I talk to the people that run the writing center, and they say, no, this is not possible. But this person insisted on that. Um, this was mind-boggling to me because I often refer uh, people to the writing center uh, because many of you are non-native speakers. You weren't born in this country, or you were raised in a non-English speaking environment. Uh, and so you're struggling with writing, and, and I don't blame you. So, and the writing center is free, uh, and you get uh, from what I understand, you get a lot of help. So if you're one of these people that hasn't gotten feedback uh, in the Writing Center, please send me a little email and let me know because this can't be happening, <laughs> and, I, and I'll do something about it. Um, I pointed several, several of you to the Emily video with Judy Arter interviewing a student called Emily, which is another must-watch. You'll see me mention it often in the... Um, discussion board because it's a juxtaposition to Mr. Jones. Miss W is Emily's teacher, teaches writing, and you'll see what a difference a good writing program and a good writing teacher or a good teacher uh, giving formative assessments, uh, peer and self-editing, etc., etc. So um, also make sure you look at the two pieces of writing that I've uh, posted in course materials and see the difference. And these are actual pieces of writing. One is Emily's at the beginning of the semester, or the beginning of the course, and one is at the end. Um, so you should also take time to watch uh, the two videos I posted in this session's course materials by Rick Romelli. Rick Romelli is one of my uh, go-to uh, bloggers, authors, uh, and he's a teacher. He's like much, much like Heather Walpert Gowern, who I've also talked a lot about because she's an Edutopia blogger that I point a lot of people to and I've shared some of her materials with. But Rick Romelli is another one who is an author teacher. Uh, he writes and he still teaches. So um, I've shared uh, three of his videos. One of them is in session 12 course materials, which I'm sure no one will go to because um, session 12 is just. Uh, posting your assignments. Um, so as he states in one of his videos, the consequence for not doing your work is to do your work. And that's the way it should be. Uh, so I'm looking forward to an active discussion this week. There are some issues presented by the authors of the several articles I've placed in course materials that should, quote unquote, should transform the, look, the way you look at grading as well as formative assessment. Um, so let's talk about assignments. For Monday, you need to have completed all of your posts for this current discussion board uh, and take the final vocabulary quiz. Um, of course, you get two, two chances to take that quiz, and the hard copy is in course materials. Um, in the 
Uh, also, um, I've posted a link to the course evaluation. Um, you probably get been, have been getting emails. I know I get an email like uh, two or three times a week tell, tell, reminding me to tell my students to do their evaluation. Well, it's I placed a link in your assignments. The last of it, I did the last session, I did it this session, and it'll be in session 12. So please, 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 this is the only feedback really that my uh, supervisors get for my course. Um, so, um, and, and I also get them too. I don't get them uh, as soon as I would get other feedback, um, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But um, please, please fill out that course evaluation. Please make comments. Um, just giving me a five or giving me a two or a one doesn't tell me anything. Um, why are they giving me that? What, what did I do? What can I change? Um, so I need to get, I need feedback, just like I'm teaching you how to give feedback. Um, uh, you'll also need to upload your final selected response test for grading in this session. Your final revision is not the one you posted on the, the revised selected response test discussion board. I hope not. I hope that people are giving you feedback and that you revise it again. Um, but I'm not, I don't go into that discussion board. You'll notice that I haven't made any comments on that discussion board. You need to upload it in session 12, assign, session 11 assignments. Uh, it'll be checked by SafeAssign, and then I'll be able to make comments on it and to grade it. So keep that in mind. I don't want to have to hound you, but I will. <laughs> um, you also, in the last uh, session, you'll need to upload uh, your vocabulary in your own words. Please remember to put them in your own words. Um, please don't go into the glossaries or take the definitions that I've given you. Put them in your own words. But make sure they're correct. I once had a student who argued with me because he got so many wrong. He said he got them wrong because he put them in his own words. Um, you can rephrase a lot of these definitions in your own words uh, and still be accurate. So make sure you do that. Um, finally, you'll need in session 12, you'll need to complete and upload your analytic summary. I have exemplars for an, I have, uh, analytic, analytic summary exemplars in session 11, course materials. Um, you have to scroll down. I think they're down at the bottom. Um, so make sure you look at those. You have to use citations. Look at the rubric, which I've uh, posted here. I placed at the end of the uh, teach my teaching memo. Uh, and please watch the video. If you go into, um, I think I have it here. Where's, where's my assignments? If I have assignments here, uh, coursework by session and session 11, you'll see that I have uh, in course materials, or no, I think I have it in assignments. Um, the video, there it is, three-part analytic summary. Make sure you please, please watch that because um, I tell you how to do it. There's three sections. You need two citations in each, at least two citations in each section, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and there's the uh, IOA discussion board closes uh, Sunday night. Um, important to note, I said I've, I've added a, a video. Uh, make sure you watch that video. Um, and that's it. So we're almost done. Um, I'll be grading and uh, interacting with you on this discussion board. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll be getting it all done. Uh, I think uh, my grades close. I have to have my grades in 10 days after uh, December 13th or December 14th. So um, that's about Christmas, just Christmas Eve. So that's it. Um, I will be back next Monday with my final teaching memo.